Gemini, what's going on with you guys? I hope you guys are doing lovely. I'm looking forward to doing this reading. I'm just going to tune in. This is going to be a general love message for you guys. I got a brand new deck and I want to try it out. So I'm breaking it in on a few lucky signs. Uh, let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. <clears throat> so what's going on with Gemini? Let's get a story going on here. What is the energy that Geminis are dealing with? <clears throat> May this be a potent message. Here we go. Uh, it's the star card. A lot of hope here. A lot of hope regarding a situation. All right, it could be a situation in which, in which there's a lack of communication between you and somebody here. <clears throat> I'm getting the sense that there is distance and a need for healing within a connection. All right, card of Aquarius. Tell me more. The Knight of Pentacles. So this is definitely moving towards materializing this. Whatever sort of positive wish, wishful thinking, which is encompassed by healing that I'm getting the sense of. There's a lot of patience surrounding this and slow, progressive movement toward manifesting this or materializing this. Yet I see you very stressed out. I don't know what the hell happened here, Gemini, but you seem to be quite bent out of shape about it. All right, I don't see you too happy. I don't see you too happy. I feel that you, you were compelled to go into a space where you had to nurture yourself. All right, you still may be going through this self-nurturing energy. Mm. the wheel of fortune however this was destined all right this was destined you're definitely finding strength through this this is a growing experience for you this is adding wisdom to your library ladies and gents so welcome to this because it's adversity that forges your greatest version all right it is the challenges that we overcome that add to our character ladies and gents <clears throat> let's see yeah you're moving towards calmer waters here when it comes to your emotions I feel that you're very drawn to a relationship that you want something very successful towards but there's just been a there's just a lot of slow moving energy here and I really get the sense that your own emotional sanity or balance is taking the forefront of your interest <clears throat> for a source your healing your own personal healing in regards to the situation all right, some of you are well aware that you're not in a state to offer a relationship or even being in a committal relationship or a stable relationship. All right, you're seeking to get yourself out of that energy into an energy of being able to experience joy once again, experience, you know, courtship, flirtation, good times. The justice, well, that's... That makes absolute sense. You're going through karma. You're going through karma, all right? And what you're dealing with is you actually getting your, getting rid of the karma. Because after you pay this karma, after you go through this difficulty, you got this Ace of Cups. You see, you had to go through this element of abandonment in your life, in this phase of your life. You had to go through something catastrophic, something devastating, something here that led you to look up at the sky once again and find that hope. Find that sense of optimism. That optimism poss was possibly lost at some point, but you seem to have refound it, Gemini. All right? And this is you picking yourself up or rebalancing the scales out when it comes to this karmic debt. But understand that once the balance, once the scales balanced, you got nothing but a new beginning coming your way. All right? <clears throat> Who does this involve? What is it? Let's look into the star card here. Well, clearly there's abandonment and it seems that you are dealing with difficult feelings towards somebody that you are hopeful and wishful about. Someone here that you're not in a relationship with, someone here that you could have been in no contact or you still may be in no contact with. All right, the high priestess, yeah. A card of no communication here. Yet there's a desire for a lot of love. There's a desire for the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Let me look into your energy here. Why the Queen of Swords? Let's look into this Queen of Swords. She looks devastated. She does not look happy. The death, well, clearly there's been some sort of ending. You're not dealing too well with the situation, all right? But you guys are coming out of it. I feel that you've, you have gained an element of clarity. You have gained a, a sense of groundedness from this transformation because that's what it is. It's not necessarily an ending, but a transformation of your life. 
All right. <clears throat> Depends how you look at it, right? But I see that this transition or this ending, this death energy, weighed heavily on you. I feel like you had a hard time dealing with this. I was going to say Leo. We've got the card of the Emperor. Could have been dealing with an Aries, nevertheless, here. You're still a little caught up in your head regarding this individual here. All right. Trying to seek control, but this individual still weighs heavily on your mind. Eight of Cups. You can't walk away from this individual. You're having a difficult time walking away from this person here. All right. When in reality, that's what's needed. A closure, a sense, a chapter, a closure of chapter within a connection here. But I get the contrary here. I feel that you're compelled to express your feelings. I feel that you want to connect with somebody here. You want to, you want to put yourself in a vulnerable position. And you want to experience emotional connection with somebody here. All right. <clears throat> Let's look into your energy towards this person here. Let's look a little deeper, shall we? What is Gemini's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Gemini's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? What is Gemini's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? The Two of Wands, you're at a crossroad here, so it seems. You're being very discernful, okay? Judging the situation, judging yourself, judging the perception of the future that you see in this connection here. I feel that you're weighing out your options. You're trying to pick the right path for you because you've already been very devastated in regards to this relationship. I feel that you've gone through enough wounds, wounds that still inflict you and still bother you to this day. Yet you have a big heart for this individual. You got a lot of feelings. You're very, very emotionally invested in this connection. All right, and I feel that you're still wanting to engage this individual in a very effective manner. Mm-hmm, Knight of Swords. Yeah, you feel as if you gotta be cautious, all right? You feel as if you gotta navigate this effectively and intelligently. So, Ace of Swords, here you are, coming forward, wanting to convey clarity or communication, speak your truth, wanting to shine light upon the darkness of the relationship. You've risen above the dark, You've ri you have risen above the darkness that this relationship has has brought you in your life you've grown wow you've grown from this situation you were not the same individual when this first happened you were in a very devastated place you were in a much worse place you could have felt unappreciated here you could have felt breadcrumb you could have felt rejected all right, nevertheless, whatever you felt, it was hurtful and it was painful. <clears throat> Could have been dealing with a, with an earth sign. Mm, but they left. All right, this individual, I feel, could have abandoned you for their own, their own sense of contentment. I don't see them pursuing anything else or anyone else here, but there's an element and this individual just went straight to focusing on themselves. It seems that they focused and did attain an element of security and stability here. Yet when it comes to this relationship, they're still holding on to the burden that they left you with. Yep, this eats them up as well. You can only ignore a problem for so long, ladies and gents. Let's look into this individual's energy. What is this individual's energy towards Gemini? Ten of Swords. Yeah, they're feeling the ramification of whatever actions were taken upon this relationship. I feel someone tried really hard to save this connection. They try to hold it together, but it seems as if the more constriction, more pressure they put on this, the more it fell apart. Something here wasn't meant to be, ladies and gents. In fact, this ending, this separation, this difficulty, this trial was meant to be. That is what was meant to be. There's a lot of, ah, what's this energy? Remorseful, there's this remorseful energy. There's something here that this individual is holding on to and I don't like it. They don't have the best energy towards you, Gemini. Okay, this individual is guarded. They're not too truthful. This individual is not in a position where they're gonna be too open and honest with you, all right? Four of Wands. <clears throat> the Four of Wands, the full energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Let's look into the Seven of Swords. Let's look into the Seven of Swords. The 
Sick them to the Seven of Swords. The Devil. They're holding on to something here. They're holding on to something that they're not illuminating. They themselves are not illuminated of some truth here. Alright? I'm telling you, they're in a very low vibration. I feel that this person here is holding on to regret or remorsefulness. Something along those lines. There's just a major sense of disappointment here when it comes to this relationship. Why am I getting the sense that... <clears throat> Let's see. Somebody here... There's a lack of balance, all right? If this individual breadcrumb you, they're feeling what they did, okay? And they're having a hard time accepting that. However, if they feel breadcrumb by you, they're remaining attached to that action that you took towards them, all right? Even though they're seeking to move on from it and move towards a higher level of stability or just a higher vibrating relationship with you, they're still holding on to this energy here with the devil, all right? Yep. But they're going to move forward here. I mean, the Six of Coins, Six of Pentacles here, they're definitely moving forward. We've got two Sixes, the Six of Coins and the Six of, of uh, Wands. So, this individual seems pretty confident that you guys can bring about balance or you guys could come to mend whatever happened here. I'm not necessarily seeing this individual pursue a relationship with you, but more so I see them pursuing... Picking up the broken pieces and gluing them back together, ladies and gents. Mending and healing. That is what I'm picking up from this individual. Seeking to mend and heal a situation. But they're still holding on to you. A lot of negative energy here when it comes to this relationship. Let's get a little more energy here regarding this person. Whatever wants to come forward here, let's get a message. Let's get some more energy here regarding this person that Gemini is dealing with. A little more gasoline. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. What wants to come forth here regarding this individual? Something popped up. All right. The King of Cups. <clears throat> the King of Cups. Well, there you go. Speaking of a massive sense of the emotional investment. The King of... All right. We got two kings here. This is you. The King of Swords. Mm, what about this? What about this? Ace of Pentacles. This individual wants to move on from the past, ladies and gents. I feel that they they have good intentions here. They got good intentions. They're wanting to take things slow. They're wanting to take things slow, but they're wanting to take them towards moving away from <clears throat> whatever difficulties linger in the past. They want to add to. They want to add value to whatever happened here in the past. So this could be healing. All right. Coming forward with an apology or an offer to to work on the situation. That's the sort of energy here that I'm picking up from them. Tower. An opportunity to rebuild. Alright, they want to be rebuild with you. They want to rebuild with you. Mm -hmm. They're being very cautious about this, very precautious. They're appearing as a wounded warrior. Alright, they want to take things slow. They want healing. They definitely want to heal the situation. The Hermit. Why the Hermit? Why the Hermit? Hmm. I get the sense that this individual doesn't want to invest a lot of their feelings here in this relationship, even though they are heavily emotionally invested. Even though they got a lot of feelings for you, Gemini. This individual doesn't want to invest their feelings in this relationship. They want, they want to keep this more so surface level. They want to take this slow. They do want to rebuild with you. But this rebuilding is more so healing of the wounds. All right, I'm not getting a lot of committal energy here. This is something that I keep reiterating. This individual may be a bit hesitant to getting into relationships. All right, they think a lot. In fact, they overthink when it comes to this. And when it comes to romance, when it comes to, to dealing with something here, I feel that this person went through some sort of wounds that just continuously rings in their head. All right, and this is why they're so shallow. This is why they can't really speak their truth when it comes to the depths of their feelings, ladies and gents. Because of that ringing sound in their head, all right, that sound that invokes pain, yet a, simultaneously, a simultaneous desire for love. This is intoxicating, ladies and gents. This is absolutely intoxicating. <clears throat> yep, that's the sort of energy that I picked up on them. I told you they're holding on to something here. 
All right, they're holding on to something. Well, ladies and gents, God, I'm gonna stop looking into this individual's shadows and I'm gonna start looking, I'm gonna take this to the extent and I'm start looking at the feelings that they have for you. I'm gonna start looking at, at the long-term intentions they have towards you, at the actions that they're gonna be taking towards you and what lies in the near future for this relationship. If you're interested, Gemini, the link to the, to the extended will be in the description. I'll see you guys there. I'll see you guys next time.